This is the story of the Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch by Rhonda and David Armitage. One of the most popular children's books. Once there was a lighthouse keeper named Mr Grinley. Grinley. At night time he lived in a small white cottage perched high on the cliffs. And in the daytime he rode out to his lighthouse on the rocks to clean and polish the light. Mr Grinling was a most industrious lighthouse keeper. Come rain or shine, he tended his light. And sometimes at night, when, as Mr Grinling lay sleeping in his warm bed, the ships were too to tell him that his light was shining brightly and clearly out to sea. Each morning, while Mr Grinling polished the light, Mrs Grinling worked in the kitchen of the little white cottage on the cliffs, concocting a delicious lunch for him. Once she had prepared the lunch, she packed it into a special basket and clipped it onto the wire that ran from the little white cottage to the lighthouse on the rocks. But one Monday, something terrible happened. Mrs Grinling had prepared a particularly appetising lunch. She had made a mixed seafood salad, a lighthouse sandwich, peach surprise, iced sea biscuits, cold chicken ganini, sausages and crisps, drinks and soy fruit. She put the lunch in the basket, as usual, and sent it down the wire. But the lunch did not arrive. It was spotted by three scavenging seagulls who set upon it and devoured it with great gusto. <gasps> Clear off, you varmint, shouted Mr Grinling. But the seagulls took not the slightest notice. That evening, Mr and Mrs Grinling decided on a plan to baffle the seagulls. Tomorrow I shall tie the napkin to the basket, Mrs Grinling. Of course, my dear, agreed Mr Grinling. A sound plan. Apparently it wasn't. On Tuesday evening, Mr and Mrs Grinling racked their brains for another plan. They are a brazen lot, those seagulls, said Mrs Grinling. Brazen indeed, said Mr Grinling. What shall we do? Our cat does not appear to like seagulls, said Mrs Grinling. No, my dear, said Mr Grinling. Here mission is an accomplished seagull chaser. Of course, exclaimed Mrs Grinling. Tomorrow Hamish can guard the lunch. A most ingenious plan, agreed Mr Grinling. Hamish did not think that that plan was ingenious at all. He spat and hissed as Mrs Grinling secured him into the basket. There, there, Hamish, said Mrs Grinling consolingly. I'll have a tasty piece of herring waiting for you when you arrive home. But sadly, flying did not agree with Hamish. His first sudden end when the basket swayed, his whiskers drooped when he peered down at the wet blue sea, and he felt much too sick to even notice the seagulls, let alone scare them away from the lunch. See? That was not a good idea either. Like a day, like a day, said Mr Grinning suddenly. Meow, meow, agreed Hamish pitifully. But on Wednesday evening, Mr and Mrs Grinning racked their brains for a new plan. What shall we do? said Mr. Grinling. Mrs. Grinling thoughtful. I have it! she exclaimed. Just the mixture for hungry seagulls. Indeed, my dear, said Mr. Grinling. What did you have in mind? Wait and see, said Mrs. Grinling. Just wait and see. Mustard sandwiches, chuckled Mr. Grinling. A truly superb plan, my dear. Truly superb. And on Thursday morning. Mrs. Grinling carefully packed the mustard sandwiches and sent them off down the wire to the expectant seagulls. Oh, they didn't like that. And on Friday, Mrs. Grinling repeated the mush mustard mixture. And it worked! So on Saturday, up in the little white cottage on the cliffs, a jubilant Mrs. Grinling put away the mustard pot before she prepared a scrumptious lunch for Mr. Grinling. While he waited for his lunch in the lighthouse on the rocks, Mr. Grinling sang snatches of old sea shanties as he surveyed the coastline through the telescope. And this is what he saw! <laughs> in another person's lunch instead. Ah oh well, such is life, mused Mr. Grinling, as he sat down to enjoy a, lo a leisurely lunch in the warm sunshine. Now wasn't that a clever? Boy, is that a fib. Boy, is that a famous story or what? 